Hello, I'm Summer Stephan, San Diego County District Attorney. April is National Child Abuse Awareness and Prevention Month. And there are a few things that we all need to remember and know. That it is our duty as parents, teachers, and community to protect our children. One of the most important laws in this area is the law involving mandated reporters. Who are mandated reporters? It really is anyone that is in a position of trust. Anyone in education, teachers, counselors, coaches are mandated reporters. Anyone in the faith community, clergy, counselors, and others involved in faith institutions are also mandated reporters. In addition, law enforcement, counselors, social workers, and the health field, doctors, nurses, are mandated reporters, and many more. You can go to our website, sandiegoda.com, to learn more about the comprehensive list of mandated reporters. But even more importantly is what is the duty for a mandated reporter? It is to report suspicious activity. If you have a reasonable suspicion that harm, abuse, sexual or physical or neglect is coming to a child, then there is a duty to report to the child abuse hotline and to law enforcement. This report doesn't mean that you're guaranteeing that something bad is happening, but it means that there is a suspicion based in reason. You don't have to be sure about it, but what we do know for sure is that not reporting is both a crime and also something that can prevent us from protecting a child. Please understand and follow your mandated reporting laws because they can save a child. In addition, one tip that I wanna give parents is to be very careful with anything in the home that can inadvertently harm your child. That would be in terms of how you maintain any weapons or guns, and also when it comes to even legally prescribed medicines or things that are legal for adults like the consumption of marijuana. When it comes to children, those things can be a poison and can be very harmful. And we get reports all the time of kids being admitted to Radies Children's Hospital because of being poisoned by these substances. So please look at your surroundings and make your home safe for your children. Let's all commit to protecting our children. Our team does that every day and let's continue to do that as a community. Remember, we're here for you. Just reach out if there's anything I can do, we can do to help you and I'll talk to you next week.